Greetings everyone and welcome to an episode of Weekly Pulse. Today the International Institute of Health Science is hosting its 20th annual Bioinquirer's Academic Session. This year with the theme of Together Towards Sustainability. This event also aims to bring a research ambience to students who are interested in research and provide a forum for everyone who is interested in presenting their innovative ideas with regard to their respective fields of work. So stay tuned to speak to a few distinguished persons and learn more about today's event. I'm Zahid Aman and you are watching Pulse. Joining me now is Dr. Nihal De Silva, who is a co-founder and dean of IIHS. So with the journey of IIHS being very effective and built upon trust, compassion and adding good towards the community, you have been immensely um, providing contribution towards the journey of IIHS. How do you feel about today's event in the Resources Forum? As I said earlier, I feel very proud of what I see happening at IIHS today. And I, when I reflect over the last 20 years, uh, we have grown from almost nothing to something that is now easily recognized as a valuable institution in, in education in Sri Lanka. We did have a lot of hurdles along the way, but with our uh, attitude of not wanting to give up uh, and being more inclusive and providing opportunities when the country was in bad shape as it were for our students to go forward not only in Sri Lanka but also abroad I think we have achieved a lot so I'm very proud of what I see today and I know that from our present plans that the future will be equally good and we have a better base of students better quality students right now compared to the past so there is a lot of potential that's great to hear as well. And with regard to the vision of IIHS, which is transforming people, community and landscape through innovation, what do you think of the evolving methods we see in education in terms of modern technology? That's a very relevant question because modern technology, I think, has contributed a lot towards the improved performance of students. We ourselves, especially with the COVID lockdown, uh, we had a lot of uh, distance uh, uh, teaching and studying as it were. Uh, and uh, only very limited face-to-face -face presentations and we see that the students have performed better in their examinations after that. So it means that we have adequate proof that distance learning, uh, digital learning is probably more effective than a teacher-centric kind of approach. So it has led to more interaction with the students and uh, uh, it has, I think, produced an overall better quality student. So that's, that's I think, thanks to a lot to modern technology too. Here with me now is the co-founder and CEO of IIH, Dr. Kitsri Edri Singh. Tell me, Doctor, with, us, with IIH has been the pioneer in Sri Lanka's International University Learning Centres for over two decades now, and with your contribution being massive throughout the years, what exactly do you feel about today's event on the bio Teachers Forum? Well, I'm very happy. I have been a part of this whole uh, initiative, and we have a IIHS team, uh, consists of academics and the managers and administrators, all have contributed uh, to today's uh, coming up to this level. So we've uh, published uh, 950 uh, research publication to date. Today they are publishing over 230. And in terms of the student population and the ratio of publications, we are in the top 10 uh, in South Asia. So uh, why research is important in today's world, uh, the youth will have to understand the problems and, and, and uh, come up with evidence-based thinking. Now, one of the problems that we have at the moment, most of the youth, they don't take the vaccine, the COVID vaccine. But when you really look at them, they are walking because their parents have given the polio vaccine because they did not uh, uh, argue with the uh, system because currently the youth, they have more knowledge. But they are, do they have the proper knowledge? Are they evidence-based? That's the important thing. Now, we get another wave going on. Uh, coming up in the uh, the first world is simply because uh, due to the youth which is not vaccinated. 
So we have to really push these uh, young people to think evidence-based. So research forums are that. You try to go and try to find things and not only give something uh, addressing the problems in the environment, but also they have to change themselves the thinking pattern. If you're, it's not hearsay, it's not Facebook, it's not the social media, it's real uh, what matters in um, academically as professionally what matters. So those things have to be inculcated in the students, especially IIH students. They will be going out of the country. Uh, they have to play the tune of the first world. Uh, I think they, Sri Lanka is good, but Sri Lanka is in educationally. We are about 20, 30 years behind from the world. But once you go to the first world, you get a culture shock. Uh, because you are trained in different ways. So that's what we do at IHA, we transform them. There's a nice smooth migration because they'll be studying only about a year there. After that, they'll get into the real uh, working, uh, they become working professionals. So that culture shock, we tried our level best to reduce it. And uh, out of 530 odd uh, students, and uh, I hardly, I, I haven't seen anyone failing but prospering. It's due to the transformation. So one of the things that research and these kind of a forums will give them a research competency. In addition to that, the whole program, they have been uh, they have been working very hard for the last almost one year. That's great to hear, Doctor. And speaking with regard to this year's theme as well, on Together Towards Sustainability, how do you feel we can incorporate sustainability and education towards becoming a global citizen in today's day and age? Uh, COVID taught us a good lesson no? uh, from nowhere. They, they, they came and uh, the COVID uh, really challenged almost all the known systems built by humans and we were we were stranded I mean first world standard the forget about the three countries like Sri Lanka because we were not ready we were not trained we were not educated well our education systems uh, allow us to converge ourselves so when we become professionals we are difficult people to approach uh, we have only one answer to a question. See, that's why when the COVID came, we did not have any answer. Neither do the first world. So therefore, the, the future problems, the future issues our youth is going to uh, face will be enormous. So if we don't uh, transform our systems, education system, they will going to, they will, they will have a lot of problems in years to come. Because uh, as uh, professionals. Uh, we are de developing the future professionals, so we should give the, the needed competencies for them to tackle any problem that is going to happen. Joining with me now is a student, Kapishan Ajatnam, who is the President of Scientific Committee of IIHS. So Kapishan, what do you think of the contribution I have given towards the development and how does it more students who joined recently? So initially, both my brothers, Danushan and Sudarshan, also joined IIHS and started their journey to become internationally recognized in healthcare professionals. So they enrolled the general nursing program and now they are graduates with an international qualification from a renowned university in Australia. Similarly, my parents also expected to see me develop myself as an active participant and succeed by growing up in the same environment within IIHS. So all students who join IIHS experiences the student transformation process and this transformation process is what is exactly required and expected by parents and students both. That would help us be a global citizen. This is absolutely because of the support and guidance as all students are aiming to complete the, their education at an international level at highly recognized universities where we have to become a role model of ourselves. So we'd like to know about this platform as well. In your perspective, what is the BioInquirer Research Forum? So BioInquirer is the annual research forum organized by the International Institute of Health Sciences to provide opportunities to internal and external as well as both local and foreign participants to publish their research studies. So the Bioinquiry Research Forum throughout the year showcased exceptional quality of research publications. So throughout the history, there has been 20 research conferences where over 200 research and healthcare workers have been held uh, 10 webinars and 15 community projects and also over 750 research publications has been published. This time in the year, 2021, we are hosting the 20th Bioinquiry which is the ninth forum. This year will be there will be 
a record as it exceeds more than 1000 research publications and therefore I am proud to state that uh, state as the president of the scientific committee at IHS and it is a, it is my great honor and pr proud to host and be part of this event I just thank IHS for this opportunity that is given to the everyone academic and non-academic staff and finally I just wish all the presenters a good luck Here with me now is Dr. Salah Margay, who is a Senior Fellow at the Institute of Health Policy. So what do you think of the journey of IIHS and in bringing innovation to healthcare? And also what do you feel about being present at today's event? Yes, uh, IIHS has been a pioneer in education for the healthcare providers. So uh, they have set a pace and uh, year by year uh, moving forwards with uh, new innovations and ways of training healthcare workers uh, to the country and for the global market. So with the current COVID-19 pandemic, what do you think of learning from COVID-19 in bringing a resilient healthcare system? Yes, with the, we have a lot of lessons to be learned when we started the journey with the Sustainable Development Goals in 2016. We faced with this challenge and uh, we should uh, not get disheartened but we must make it a point to take, get the lessons from the experience that we gained by facing this challenge and move to forwards towards together. Joining me now is Dr. Dinesh Niriyala, who is the Head of Academics at IIHS. Ma'am, what do you think is the importance of an evidence-based approach in becoming a smart professional? Yeah, so evidence-based practice means working according to evidence. It's not all about working whatever you learned few years ago. The world is changing, new information should be come to the field. So IHS, we mainly have healthcare related students. So definitely they have to get updated information. They should do research, find in new information if to become a smart professional one day. So IHS consists of a one particular platform called Bioinquirer. So under Bioinquirer, this research based or evidence based practicing is one of the key area. That is why at IHS we always encourage our students to do research, publish their research and also whenever they go to the, uh, their professional working setting, they need to practice based on evidence. Then only they be can become uh, one of the smart professionals one day. Here with me now is Ms. Stephanie Gloria Anthony. So ma'am, can you tell me what's the recognition given to nursing professionals today at the Researchers Forum? Through the Research Forum, it gives very good value for all our students' publications. Especially we do have bachelors, masters and doctorate of nursing professionals who do a research as the part of their module. And through the Research Forum, they get very good recognition and a platform to publish their finding and to continue their studies and to make changes in the nursing community. Here with me now is Dr. Amal Hasha De Silva to speak us a few words on today's event. So Dr. what do you think of the innovation brought through IISL towards healthcare training in their journey towards over, over two decades now? What do you think they have brought towards healthcare training in Sri Lanka? I think uh, it's very commendable to see that, that there is a great change in the way we do our learning process. And it's all new. I think, you know, we got to learn from the, from the government sector and all the other institutions should learn from IHS because the students' interaction was e enormous and how they command their language, language skills and how they adhere to a time schedule, it's, it's great. And therefore, I think, you know, it's a, it's a good reflection on what you are doing. Therefore, I must congratulate IIHS for what they are doing very well. Also, with the pandemics are evolving in over two years now, what do you think of the social dynamics we see during the pandemic? Oh, social dynamics have completely changed. Now, I know that, you know, it, people don't like restrictions 
but in the meantime you know the the, the society is changing with with the pandemic and some time ago you know covering your face covering your head and covering your nose uh, was was looked at as a very very d- different thing but today it becomes a norm and and therefore i think you know people are changing the way they do things where they live their lives and um, i think people are getting adjusted uh, to do things with the with the pandemic <laughs>